We are now live. Hello. Good evening. And I still don't know how many people are watching because I don't know how it works <laughs> in the software. But welcome to uh, the second live. A bit nervous. Still? Nervous energy. Oh, yeah. Still nervous, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Still nervous. Uh, but welcome, anyway, to our uh, second chapter that's live. It's really good to see you um, if you're there. If you're there, please say hello um, in the comments because that's when we know you're there. Yeah. And um, someone could we'll know comment, that would be great. Ah, <laughs> there's... <laughs> Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Lindsay and Mark. <laughs> Fantastic. Nice to see you. Anyway, we weren't going to go and say hello to 100 people because uh, when you when you look back, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, we're saying hello to 100 people. But thanks, everybody, that's coming on. We'll do some random hellos throughout the, throughout the time. So uh, oh, we're just going to say a quick hello to Paul Crane and uh, Richard Phillips and Annie and Kirsty. Hello. Brilliant. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Anyway, so uh, first things first. More While we first just thing wait first. for some more people to join us, we'll yep. just sort of um, have a little bit of a... What's coming up? Yeah, what's coming up? What's coming up? Um, we've got a, an, well, I'm not going to give too much away, but an ultra luxury competition. Um, Another giveaway. Yep, Lou won our last one, Aurora, and you're forever telling me off because I haven't posted it yet. Sorry, no, Lou, if you're there. Lou, if you're around, it's going in the post <laughs> tomorrow, I promise. We've just had a really <laughs> hectic week or so, so it will be so, in the post yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, it will be in the post tomorrow. Uh, also coming up, we've got uh, 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 just some details about our huge 2023 adventure. I mean, it is huge. It's the biggest thing we've ever done. So... Please stay tuned for that because it is exciting. We've got some details on that. And if you've got any questions, please uh, put some questions in the comments and uh, put question before that so I can literally just favourite them and stick them to one side and then we can answer them when we can. Earlier on, no, I didn't. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any uh, moderators, unfortunately, so we're doing it all ourselves. Right at the top, Lindsay and Mark asked a question. Oh, they did ask me a question. They did. Oh, I'm sorry, he Lindsay and Mark. That one, oh, Lindsay my giddy aunt. Oh, my giddy aunt. <laughs> but I, I, we will come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, we're going to start actually with a, uh, a letter we received this week. Uh, this Yesterday. week. Yesterday, Yesterday, in fact, um, from a, a viewer. Hi, Helen Ridge. Who watched um, us last Sunday? Who watched us last Sunday? I hope that both of you are well, enjoying your life in the cruising lane. We certainly are. We are. Uh, we were both more than a little concerned when watching you the other evening. Oh, dear. Um, at the apparent disappointment and general feeling of being let down in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually quite positive people. We hardly ever feel let down, do we? No. Let's be fair. Um, in the restaurant on your latest adventure on the high seas. Now, actually reading this, I think he's referring to Oceania Riviera. Okay. And it wasn't in the restaurant. And it wasn't in the restaurant, but that's but, fine. Um, yeah. We hope the enclosed from our local deli may in some way brighten your weekend. Please I don't accept know this whether little deli bit. means that they made it themselves, mm, maybe, because it looks knows. very homemade and beautiful. It does look made. We, we may it, what it is give you it. both unbounded enjoyment. <laughs> I love unbounded enjoyment, don't you? <laughs> On this warm and sunny autumnal day, kind regards to you both, Graham and Susie. Thank you very much, Graham and Susie. Shall we reveal, we reveal what, what they are? And they've actually sent us twice this amount, so... Yep. We have... You can see scones scone. or scones or... <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the the plate. fruit scone. With, with actual clotted cream, clotted cream. Actual, actual clotted cream. And I think it's strawberry jam. So strawberry it looks jam. looks beautiful. And it looks absolutely amazing. We've got two of those, so we won't eat them live on air because... Um, no, I don't like eating them properly. I don't, I don't want to get raisins okay. caught in my teeth. <laughs> Good luck when you're like. So we're going to eat them straight after. And we have some house guests at the moment. Well, I mean, I say house guests. They're sort of living with us. Hello, my brother and sister-in-law um, <laughs> who are living with us. Um, we're going to go down and we have two of these and we're all going to eat these with a nice cup of English breakfast tea yep. after we've finished here. If you're on here uh, for the first time, please do uh, give us a thumbs up, please. That would be, be really, really nice. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't done already because we have lots of cruise content. Not all of this sort of boring live stuff, but a lot of really nice stuff that uh, we've got coming up as well. So, and if Graham and Susie are watching, thank you very much. Thank you, Graham and Susie. Really much, them. much appreciated. No and more I'm, scone chat tonight. We, we didn't eat much tea, so we're going to look for, look forward yeah. to them. So, yes, sweet nature, the scones are amazing. So thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, I could put that on. I keep forgetting. They the do. scones do look amazing. They do look amazing. Yeah, they, do. they look very homemade so, to me, so I don't know whether Susie no. made them herself, but we're looking forward to them. Paul Crane says, Jeepers, that's immense. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's gone. why we're only going to have half each and share them with my brother and sister at Norton. So, yeah. So, Grace has said something nice. Thank you, Grace. You always inspire me to do more. That's really nice, isn't it? Thank you very much, Grace. Thank you. Uh, so, okay. So, um, another little thing we got in the post this week. Yes, another exciting delivery. Um, 
was from uh, Ponant, which is our next cruise. I think we, if you look at Chat With Us 1, we go into detail about uh, what we're doing with Ponant. We're off in a couple of weeks. But this to... is a really rare thing. Yeah. You don't get many of these anymore. This is actually a pre-cruise pack that comes through. And I don't know if I can get, get close to the... But as you can see, it's got these... It's beautiful. It's, it's like stitched. Yeah, it's like a stitched, stitched sort of... It's, I think it's vegan leather, so you're right there. And then inside, you've got these... Um, can you see that? It's a it's a beautiful luggage tag. I think that's vegan leather again. Rich has already got his on his suitcase, I have. so there's only mine there. And we have our... It's called a travel book, as you can see. And, it, and I've already been through it. Yeah. And put it's got every <laughs> single thing you need to know about your cruise. And it's all sort of tailor printed, which is... Amazing. Not many people. I think there's only other, the only other one I've seen is Silver Sea that does this. And I don't think they've been doing that lately anyway. No. So, but if you just have a look at some of the pages, like this page here, you've got all the staterooms and you got, this is what your state, and it tells you what your stateroom number is. And it goes through all this. It's fabulous. Yeah. All the, um, excursions. all the excursions are in there. So, I just thought we'd show there? you that because oh, that, we have, really there's nice also thing. like luggage tags for the actual. Um, to put on your luggage for the for the suites. Yeah. So then you know, so that when you arrive, and then actual like proper like your documents, like mm -hmm. so like actual like documents are in there. Proper tickets. Proper ticket. Yeah, we had voyage tickets. <laughs> and Can you believe it? Lots of health forms and things so like that as well. That's so really nice. Anyway, it's really so, exciting. Yeah. So yeah, we're really really pleased with that. Yeah. Hello, Hetty Travels. First time here from the US. Very nice Hi. to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate that. And Paul says, not leather then. No, Paul. Are they not leather? Did you? I think it's vegan leather. Do you think so? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it smells of vegan. It doesn't smell of cow. It's actually really nice though. It's very nice. I think vegan leather is the way to go, Paul, to be this honest. Is lovely. We're going to save like the a, planet. The ponent lining in it. It has got ponent lining. It's amazing. It's nice. Very so nice. Um, I'm going to actually put this up because we, we're going to talk about this later. Thank you so much, Cruise Forever, for our oh, first ever Super, Super Chat. Chat. We're I'm actually going to talk a bit about that in a minute. So About um, what makes us, well, yeah. well, actually, what pays our mortgage, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but thank but you. Thank you, Cruise Forever. That's most appreciated. If anyone else wants to do a Super Chat, we would be absolutely delighted because, um, as, as you will find out later on, um, we don't have a Patreon. We don't have any other form of paywall. Everything is free for everybody. But we'll get on to that in a little while. Anyway, so thank you for that, Cruise Forever. That's really, really appreciated. So, um, actually, going, th going from that, we had a question on the last live yeah. from uh, Brummy Nick, which I thought, I can't put it up on the screen, unfortunately, because I, I don't know how to do that um, <laughs> from last time. But um, it's quite an interesting question. Um, and we thought it was a, a really pertinent one that we should answer before we answer any yes. questions that are coming up this week. Yes. So. so the question was, what proportion of your cruises are self-funded compared to those as guests of the cruise line? And I thought that was a really, really good question because um, we do get a lot of uh, press trips and we hosted do. trips. Yeah. And we need to just explain a little bit. Um, well, we don't need to, but we'd like to explain a yeah. little bit about it. And um, so... We always try and be as transparent as possible about yeah. what has been um, given to us and what we've paid for. So yeah. um, we always try and make that as clear as possible on anything that yeah. we do. And this year, we've been so fortunate this year that I would say probably 90% of our cruises uh, have been hosted by yeah. the company. Yeah. Yeah. Um, generally, that, what that means is that they pay for our cruise. We tend to pay for our travel. There are some exceptions to that, but generally we pay for our travel and, and lots of the other um, associated costs with getting yeah. there or whatever. Yeah. But the cruise is generally um, paid for. Um, because what we like to do, we just love creating content. We love going on cruises and we love creating content. And and actually the, the cruise companies like to see our content. So um, that's great. So it's a bit of a, a kind of win-win from both both sides. So we generally either get invited directly from the cruise lines themselves, from their marketing department, or through their PR company, whoever they're using, uh, or probably about 50 to 60 percent of our cruises come through our tie in with Panache Cruises, who are a luxury travel agent yeah. in the UK. And they're the sort of people that we would recommend. We would indeed, yeah. We're but their just, just a quick word about uh, sort of Patreon and, and YouTube memberships, because a lot of them are springing up lately. A lot of our vlogger friends are doing Patreons and YouTube memberships where you, you basically pay a monthly fee to support the channel, which is great. 
uh, and then you get exclusive content and things like that. Um, Helen and I decided not to do that. Uh, we've decided to keep everything free uh, as we produce it, just tumble it out there into the into the world. And um, and hopefully, uh, you know, viewers appreciate that everything everything they see is everything we've done basically. So there's no sort of paywalls, but you know, um, we we appreciate the super chats and we appreciate yeah. the the super tips and what kind of thing because uh, it does help pay for <laughs> airports yeah. and things. So basically, we we make our money through producing content and uploading it to YouTube and getting the ad revenue from YouTube. Yeah. Panache don't. Um, pay us in any way apart from a small commission if you book your cruises through Panache so if you want a good TA then choose Panache and you're in the UK then choose and, them um, and we're not alone there um, a lot of no. again a lot of our vlogger peers and a lot of our vlogger friends they have uh, travel agents that they prefer and they recommend yeah. and if you look at the descriptions on um, their um, videos you'll see who they recommend and phone numbers and contact numbers so you know our tie in Panache is no, no different to theirs really no uh, so uh, we, we we just prefer we've actually we we've been with Panache since almost the start of Panache. Yes, since they uh, we know them very very well yeah. now. We know James uh, Cole, the founder of Panache, who's a sort of industry bigwig, and and they just they're just a really friendly bunch, really good professional people that we'd like to put our name to. Basically, basically they'd like to send us out to create content, which they can then use on their website to direct their yeah. customers to. Um, yeah, that's whenever what you know, I think it's important to say that whenever we go on a cruise, we never sign a contract, we never have any obligations. We just are, you know just sent on the trip, and we produce what content we want. There's no editorial control over anything no. that we produce. Nobody sees it before you guys. No, when it goes out, to everyone you, sees it at the same time. Yeah, that's what they're, including that's the what it cruise is. companies, so, including um, Panache. Everybody. It means we can be as honest as we like about what we like and mm -hmm. some of the things that might you know. Not I mean, it has to be said, we are quite positive people. I mean, when you when you you know when you go on a luxury cruise, there's there's very little that can go wrong. I I believe, and and I think you know that, um, you know, when you're paying that sort of money, uh, you expect to yeah. be delighted at every turn. Basically, I'm just going to say hello to L Eagle from China. Look at that. I think it's the first Chinese oh, viewer. Hi. So, China. hello, El Eagle. Lovely to see you here. Thank you very much. I don't know what the time is in China. <laughs> My goodness. I don't late. Know. Very is it late. very, very late? Yeah, I it must think be. So. Um, so. And Kim's just asked a really good question. So, if you bring that up, Rich. Yep. So, that's um, do, we ha do you have to mention ourselves when you get a to well, booking. that's a really good yes, question. Please. It leads on to the next thing. Yeah. Um, we've got a, uh, a Facebook group called the Luxury Cruise Society. So, if you've not joined our group please do um so just search for luxury cruise society on facebook or search for visit with us you'll see yeah join our facebook page follow, yeah. our, follow our facebook page we've well, about 600 yeah we haven't got many oh, on that we're trying to grow it a bit so if you aren't following our facebook page please join it yes and then from that you can join the luxury cruise, the luxury society. cruise society and and we've had our three thousandth member this week and uh, we're very uh we, we we, we we sort of we're behind a little bit of a wall with the luxury cruises. I'd be like to sort of check people out, don't we, before we let them in. So it's been a bit of a slow one, but we've got three thousand members now. So thank you so much if you're part of that. Really appreciate that. So um, what we've done is a little bit of a, a tie-in with Panache, and um, what we've done here is I think I'll bring it up. Ooh, there you go. Um, it's a little voucher. Ooh, I can't. It's get a little voucher. Right. So as Kim said, do you have to mention yourselves to get a payment? When booking, if you uh, contact Panache and you want to uh, figure out something with them, um, mention, mention visit with us uh, or Rich and Helen or yeah, is it Sal the Valley? They know us, EWU, so you only have to say Rich and, and Helen, and you'll get or... you'll get hundred quid off, and that's a genuine hundred quid. Yeah, I think there's some terms and conditions around that. I think that might apply to your second booking with them or whatever. Well, I'm not but, sure. You need to find yeah, out. Ask, ask them, but there is definitely some um, benefits to you if you mention us and. And obviously a small benefit to us as well. So that's great. But that's all. We're, we're going to stop with the... We'll stop with the shilling. Else, nothing no, else to say about that. Nothing else to say about that. But please do. Um, the last thing we we'll want leave, to say... We'll leave that voucher on the Luxury Cruise Society as well so you yes. can see that. The last thing we want to say is at the end of any video we produce or any blog or 
anything that we do, there will be a, a complete description about what we have paid for and what has been gifted or given to us. So please read that. Um, we tend to use the hashtag hosted, hashtag hosted if on Instagram and Twitter and things like that. So if it doesn't say hashtag hosted, it usually means we pay for it. Yeah. Um, but if you're ever unsure, please just ask us. We are you know, 100% yeah. transparent. So yeah. if you think that we're on a paid for trip and that you know, and just you ask us. No, just ask us, and we will. Like tell you, you say, if you if you look in the descriptions, as Helen said, we always give a full yeah. explanation of what we've paid for and what's been hosted. Uh, ge genuinely, though, we go on there, we create content so that others can see what it's like to be on those ships, and that that's the that's the main thing, really. So you, you the viewer, has got more uh, knowledge uh, when it comes to booking stuff. Um, Paul Crane's great. He says, on my way to the Facebook page now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Good Paul. Call. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please come back here when you're finished, though. Um, L Eagle says, I'm using a VPN because YouTube is blocked in China. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah. I, I do feel sorry for you. So uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Jack says, uh, thank you, Jack. You're both generally a fantastic couple. I trust you. Oh, that's really sweet thank of you. Thank you, you very much. Um, so there and, you go. you know, if ever you see us around on any ships or in the airport or anything, please just come and say hi to us. Come We'd and say hello. To meet you, so. um, we're a bit bashful, actually. We're very bashful. Um, so uh, yeah, we 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 do kind of we kind of hide in the shadows. <laughs> but we'd love to meet you. <laughs> I've probably so. got a camera in my hand. That's how you can recognise <laughs> us. So there you go. So um, but yeah, I mean, if you uh, if you want to super chat us or super tip us and that buy us a coffee in an airport, that would be fantastic. Um, so that's great. So really good. So we're going to look at some questions now, shall we? Shall we look at some questions now, or are we? we are we going to do a couple of questions, or are we going to? Let's do a couple of questions in there, and then we can go okay. back to that question. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go. We we'll start right at the top because um, sweet natured. Uh, okay, if you've only, uh, uh, are, you, are you still with us, Lindsay Mark? <laughs> <laughs> I hope <laughs> they are. are. I hope they've given up. I've got a glass of wine, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you, yeah. They had cocktails there, don't I know, they? They, they always had cocktails. We watched your last one where you were drinking cocktails, so we're, um, we're, I'm joining in drinking a glass If of you wine. have only done larger ships, which smaller ship cruise line would you recommend as the first one to try? So, oh, oh that's a really good question. It all depends on uh, what you're looking to spend and yeah. what you like, actually. Yeah. My immediate thought is Azamara. Yes. My immediate thought yeah. is Azamara because, actually... On balance of value and and luxury and the sort of boutiqueness and the size, yeah. it's a great they starting one. They give you that one. small ship experience without having to it's spend a, the sorts of money that yeah. you're going to spend it's on a, Silver Seas it, or Seaborn or something like it's that. It's a great, great experience. Yeah. Do watch some of our Azamara stuff and you'll see just how good they are. Yeah. So they're great. I mean, in fact, actually, the, the risk is you'll try Azamara and then you'll never bother trying any others no. because Azamara are so good. So... Yeah. And that's what we recommend. I mean, yeah, definitely recommend those ones. Mm. I mean, if you've got more money to spend, then Silver Sea, yeah. Seaborn. Yeah, oh but, my goodness, um, yeah. But yeah, Azamara, great sort of, um, yeah, lead into some of the smaller ships. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. So, uh, right. So Another question, that's good answered question. your question. Amy. Oh. Good evening, Amy. River or Ocean Cruises. Do you prefer river or ocean cruises? That's that's a really good question because they're so different. They are. That's like saying, that's like saying, do you like chocolate or do you like something savoury? What's your favourite savoury? Scones. Do you like chocolate or do you like well, steak? It's a difficult question it to answer. I think they're one. very different products um, and they give you different experiences. And I wouldn't say that I, well, I don't, I think I, Probably slightly, if I'm honest, I probably slightly prefer an ocean cruise. Um, river, I mean, I'm really quite shy. Um, and although I like small ship experiences, I do find the river cruise experience quite, it's so intimate mm. that it can be a little bit, you know, there's no hiding you, on a river ship. No, 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 no. You, you, <laughs> you, you have to talk to people. Yeah. Because it is so small. Yeah. And also, uh, facilities on ocean ships are a lot more there's a, there's a there's a wider variety um, i'm not saying the entertainment because actually we've been on some like uniworld and stuff like that or, or ama and they brought um entertainment it's on board is just as good as ocean just as good but as there ocean. is only the one choice but there is only the one choice yeah. yeah so so ocean is is different but if you're looking for something very quiet very serene never going to get seasick you know, we're going to have rough sea. No, and it obviously takes rivers. you to places that you can't go to on an no, ocean. No, yeah, absolutely. Cruise. So, you know, um, 
And well, we, the Nile we, for a start. I mean, you're never going to see any of that Egyptian stuff on a right. on, a, on an ocean cruise. So, and we actually love like, like land tours as well. So we like to get inland a bit sometimes. So mm. the, the river cruises do offer you the chance to do that. So mm. yeah, although I think probably if I had to choose one or the other, I would probably choose an ocean cruise, um, just because it's a, a bit more. There's a bit more going on generally. But I mean, we really love river cruises, and we've done some amazing ones. Like yep, Rich says, we have. The and we've got more is, to come. Yeah, the Nile is amazing, come. and um, yeah, and the Doro. If ever you get to the Doro, it's beautiful. And there's so, our friend Elaine. Hi, Good Elaine. Good evening, Elaine. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> we met she, Elaine on Viking. On Viking, we? absolutely. She, she was she's absolute hoot. Her and Roland were absolute yeah. hoots. I mean, I can't wait to see them Viking's again. Viking's another very good small. Viking's another good small ship. ship. Yeah. yeah. Love Azamara and have cruise books on onward in March. That'd be lovely, Elaine. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Um, we it, may have some news about Viking coming up, but we'll know that in the next one. Yes, that's a good <laughs> idea. Good idea. Um, uh, Mark and Lindsay were still here with oh, drinking. Well done, Mark and Lindsay. I'm glad you have a drink. Keeping the faith, us. keeping yeah. the faith. So that's good, good, good. So um, what we're going to do now, very, uh, very quickly, is just talk about. Well, uh, did we have another question? We from had last another question from Chat with us one, and I can't put that up again. Um, from Darren. Because, and it says from Darren Carr. Hello, Darren. If you're watching tonight, um, we ask you to choose. We ask you to choose our 2024 cruise. Look at that. Well, that's a responsibility as well. That's a couple of years away. Yeah, but that's a responsibility. Yeah. That Choose someone else's cruise. Well, uh, we'll, we'll do our best to advise, Darren. But uh... <laughs> And he asked us, um, which would you choose, an Asian adventure or Australia and New Zealand, both with celebrity? We've done them before, but we can't make up which our minds which ones to do again. That's great. That's a great question. We'd, we'd love to do more Asia. Yeah. But... But next year, next year we are. Ta, 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 ta. Drum roll. Uh, we haven't got a drum roll. We've no, got we an got air horn. The... <laughs> it's not quite the same. What about applause? <laughs> Yay! Yeah. So we've been busy planning the last couple of weeks a very big, yeah, very um, big, 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 two big. month trip to Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. Which is going to be amazing. Yep. So it's been a long time in the planning. We've wanted to go to it. We've never been to Australia or New Zealand. So we've been wanting to go for a long while. So very briefly then, because yeah. we don't want to take the whole hour you talking about it. Yeah. Um, what, we're what we've got is we are going to, we are flying to, where are we flying to? Flying to Sydney. Sydney. And we're going to a couple of nights in Sydney. Yeah. We've got a few nights in Sydney. Which is going to be fabulous. Sydney, and then we get on the Nordam. Which is the first for us, Holland America. Oh, Holland America. Beautiful, beautiful Vista class ship. They are my favourite class of ship when you talk about large ships. Uh, I could go on all day about Vista class ships, but I won't. We've wanted to try Holland America for they a long are time. Beautiful. I feel like that's in my. Oh, mind. yeah, sorry. You to... <laughs> Just look at how beautiful that ship is. Yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's just the right size, 2,000 passengers ish. And uh, we're so looking forward to that. So we've got 14 nights, I think, on there, haven't we? Yes. Sailing 14 nights. from Sydney through the Tasman Sea. And finishing in Auckland. So we're not going back to Sydney. We're finishing in Auckland. In Auckland, in New Zealand. So after that, we have uh, straight away, yeah. as soon as we get off, yeah. we are on a land tour with Riviera Travel. Yeah. And it's basically going to take us through all the internal parts of New Zealand. So we've that's done a, a, we've done a Riviera a land tour one, one? before, haven't we? We, we did went Italy. to Lake Como yep. with them in the pandemic. So that video is on yep. if you want to have a look at that. Please have a look um, at that. It's nice. Brilliant. And we had such a brilliant time. We and did. they've invited us to do... They've invited New us to New Zealand. Zealand. Can't believe it. So, so very excited about that. So as you can see, it starts in Auckland. It goes up to the Bay of Islands. Then it goes all the way through the North Island. Then we get across to the South Island. And then we've got trains... We've glaciers, got glaciers. We've got a helicopter rides. ride built in. I mean, yeah. what is that about? I'm terrified. <laughs> no, I am neither absolutely of us have been on a helicopter terrified before. of helicopters. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to get on there, but I, yeah. I must do it. It's like so cable cars. It's going to be we really must, exciting. Must we'll be able to show you what it's like to cruise New Zealand and then what it's like mm. to do sort of some land tour stuff. So that's going yeah. to be really good. We're really excited about really comparing excited about that. cruise Yes, and because land. we go, uh, I, I, I can't point to well, the we thing. Can, yeah, we yeah can. you can. Oh, I can't. 
can't, can't, no, point, we to can't point to it. We can't, I, I can't even show you my cursor. Yeah. We will do the outside of New Zealand from on the, the Honda Barrack on the Nordam. To the north, basically. On the Nordam. And then we go internally. So we're going to do a series, hopefully, called Outside In. Yes. So, or Inside Outside. Inside Outside. Uh, it's where we're going to show you New Zealand from all angles. So that's going to be fabulous. And then, but that, it, that's not that's all. That's not the end. That is not that's all. That's halfway. We're halfway when we're we finish halfway. Christchurch. So we have a couple of nights in Auckland after that. And then we fly to Perth and we get on, ta-da, the Coral, Coral Princess. Coral Princess. Um, for a... Circumnavigation of Australia, which is something we've always wanted to do as well. 28 nights. Four weeks. 28 nights. Yeah. All the way around Australia. So it's Perth to Perth. And it's going to be amazing. I, I love this picture. I'll tell you why I love this picture. Because it's, it's got a massive banner on it that says, we love Melbourne. And it's not even calling it Melbourne. <laughs> no. We are going to Melbourne <laughs> on the Howl ship, but we're not, not going to Melbourne. Not even calling it Melbourne. I mean, so there you go. I just thought I'd look. And I love that, that, that Darren's just com commented and said that he's booked the Asia one. So after all that, Darren. <laughs> we booked an Asia venture on Celebrity Radio. Oh, that sounds amazing. From but, Bali to Singapore. Oh, that, that sounds amazing, Darren. That'll be amazing as well. Absolutely amazing. But we'll let you know how we get on in the New Zealand think, Australia. I think from the when we do the circumnavigation of Australia, I think we're doing lots and lots of New Zealand. We'll probably sort of exhaust not exhaust New Zealand, but we'll have seen We'll have done it for a few years. But I think the Australian one will give us an idea of the places we might want to go back and visit a couple yeah. of years later. And I think, like you've said, Bali to sing Bali. We'd love to go to Singapore and sail down to yeah. Australia from there. And visit. Well, Richard says, Milford Sound is lovely. I couldn't agree more. Um, if you can arrange a small aircraft flight from there for an hour or so. Richard, this I like, would love to get him one, on a small aircraft. If there's one thing I hate as much as helicopters, <laughs> it's small aircraft. I can't so, wait to see him get on the helicopter because he's going to absolutely I'll film be, it. I'll film the terror in my eyes. I can't say the word, but he's not going to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he doesn't I, like cable cars. so I'm definitely going to wear brown trousers that day. <laughs> I seriously am. So, <laughs> I'll let you know about this. No. The is the helicopter helicopter in the Milford Sound? Um, no, it's the Franz Glacier. It's a Glacier. Joseph Glacier. Oh, okay. I think, yeah. Okay. So, I think. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'll let you know how, whether we um, whether I get him on it. If we can arrange it and if I can convince Richard, then I'll let you know. But Elaine says that Rotterdam hope. was fab. Now, Rotterdam is a pinnacle class ship. And uh, so it's the same Nordam, as Nordam, no, Nordam is Vista class. Oh, okay. Rotterdam is Pinnacle class, which is the it's, it's kind of like Slightly Vista bigger. class on steroids. It's sort of bigger in lots of different ways, but the same sort of DNA. Yeah. So we we would absolutely love to go on a Pinnacle class ship. In fact, next year we're probably looking at Alaska on a Pinnacle class ship. So we'll let you know we're how we get on with that. We're hoping to do a couple of Holland America trips next year. We, we are. haven't done Holland America at all. No. And it's the line that we're I, very I, I, I tell you what, line. Holland America just looks like the greatest cruise line we've let's, never tried. Let's not let's not try and gild any lilies here. You're just going because you like the thought of the Rolling Stones. R not the Rolling no, Stones. The, 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 the Rolling Stone Rock Lounge. The, and the, yeah, the, the uh, music, yeah, the basically. Music. Holland America is supposed to be amazing for me. What is it? So. What's their rock lounge? Is it the Rolling Stones? Yeah, isn't it? the rock, rock, whatever. Their music on there. That's all you're going. Lincoln Centre Stage. Richard loves there's the, my music. There's the dueling pianos. There's the um, no. It's the, the yeah. It's the Rolling Stone Rock Lounge. Yeah. Uh, that's on the Pinnacle class. That's not on the Nordo, no. unfortunately. So but that's why we want to. Th there's try. the other one as well. I can't remember what it's called now. The other one where it the does Lincoln sta Lincoln Center Stage, I think, is where they've got the two pianos, and then obviously in on the Pinnacle class, the newer ships, they've got that amazing like um, screen in the theatre, haven't they? Yeah. That sort of three hundred and sixty yeah. degree screen. Sounds like amazing. So, um, yeah. so if you if you think the celebrity uh, theatre is good, Holland America done it before then, I think. Yeah. So uh, they've been there before. So actually, hi Tom and Dom, nice to see you. Uh, it, it does sound absolutely fantastic, yeah. and we are so looking forward to it. And uh, we're packing now, aren't we? Actually, <laughs> we're already starting <laughs> we're, to think I, about what we've got to take. We have. To, I, honest, got, I've planned it to death. I mean, I literally have like almost an hour by hour spreadsheet. We've got. <laughs> I, the thing is, we've got extreme sort of extreme heat and tropics of Australia, and then we've got cold okay. in New Zealand. So we're, we're going to have to pack hot weather and cold weather stuff. In fact, so that's going to be the strangest asked thing. What the stops are around Australia? Oh my goodness, um, I can't remember I, now. Uh, yeah, we, everything I know but we, Melbourne, basically. Well, we start in Perth. All the main ones. And then we're going um, up to Darwin and Cairns, and then Brisbane and Sydney, and down and round. I know we stop in 
a couple of stops in Tasmania. We've got Adelaide. We've got Kangaroo Island. We've got mm. Margaret River. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it, it works out that there's pretty much um, 14 ports and 14 sea days, so okay. it's half and half. Yep. So, um, but do um, if you if you haven't joined us on Instagram, a visit with dot us. Do do that because we'll do daily stories and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, obviously, the YouTube videos will take slightly longer, but you know, from a daily thing. We, we mostly do Instagram and Twitter, don't we? So please yeah. do. And we're hoping, hoping we're going to be able to do some lives from there as well. So that'll be Absolutely. So um, we'll give it a go anyway. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's just going to it's going to be fabulous. So, yeah. So that's another yeah. big announcement. But obviously before that, we have our Ponant Caribbean cruise. So um, we do. We will have one more and live just before got we go on that. So There's the picture. That's the Dermont de Ville. Yeah. And uh, Helen's been learning Duolingo for the past year, French. And every time we meet someone French or we go somewhere French, she bottles it and never bothers talking. The moment, all right, deal. <laughs> you keep calling me Hélène, Hélène rather than Helen, which Hélène. I prefer. I like well, you call me Richard then, because <laughs> that's French for Richard, isn't it? Then I'll start talking in French. Hélène, Hélène et Richard, is it? Like we that. have good French names, Hélène and Richard. And Richard. Yeah, no, it's Richard. <laughs> Not Richard. <laughs> That's the shard in London. Right. <laughs> so we're going on that. Is that beautiful? We must move on. Yes, yeah, so let's move right, on. Let's, let's just have a question. Um, thank you for your questions. Please keep them coming in because um, we're at the halfway point. Yes. 30 minutes. We still have we a giveaway. We still have a... So don't leave yet. And I'm telling you now, this giveaway is fabulous. It is a, fab it is a fabulous giveaway. I don't want to mm. give it away. But it's a fabulous giveaway. So stay tuned yeah. because you want to be entered for this one. It'll make a great Christmas present. So um, what question are we going to look at? Just quickly answer Paul's question. Which about one's that? Saga. Uh, I, I can't answer it. Do you know, I, I thought they were, but now I'm starting to question myself. I think Saga uh, actually have uh, done a bit of a Viking a and pulled away and from lots of travel agents. travel agents. Yeah. I think they have very, very few travel agents now, Saga. I think you might be right. I don't understand why, because I, I, I think if you if you reduce your method of sales, surely that reduces your sales. I don't know. I don't know. Best thing, but Paul, I, is to give them a ring. Just give them a just ring. Give them a, or, I, or send a message on... on I'm the, sure they can book Saga for you, even if it's not advertised yes. on there on their site actually yeah. they might I still have the saga logo on the yeah. on the website i mean if you go on their website they don't have celebrity booked on there but when we booked our we pay, we took our daughter on the celebrity cruise that we did earlier that was one that we paid for ourselves yeah. and we booked that through panache so but, even if they're not necessarily on their website please mm. ask them because often they and can please do mention us because uh, then you yeah we put on the uh visit with us approved yeah. <laughs> list <laughs> and uh, it's not going to cost you any more but it uh, it does help us in a very small way. So yeah. thank you, Paul. So it's very Paul, sweet. give them a ring and ask. Give them. them a ring and ask them. Or or message them. Right. Okay. Have we got any? What have we got? I haven't got some. Another question. Rich. Which one of you is taller? Says man. Which one of you is tall? Do I? I I'm tell you why he's asked that. Why is he asked that? Well, because I slump in my chair. Can you see that? You're always taller so than I me. Don't talk, when I don't Because I sit down. up straight. You sit up straight, and I slump in. I I. Do you know what? Richard I'm terrible. I'm like an invertebrate when I sit down. I just literally lay everywhere. No. I'm such a, he does. Such a well, he lazy car. Slodden. He drives the car like this. I, I do. don't know how he does it. I do. He lays and, in the car. and so I always look shriveled and small yeah. when I'm sitting down, but I'm nearly six foot and you're like five foot nine, are you? Yeah. Five no, eight, I'm nine. not that tall. I'm yeah. about five foot six. Five foot so, six, yeah, and I'm nearly is, six foot. It's quite a bit. So, um, yeah, yeah so I am tall, even though when you look at us on here, I slump. <laughs> so I uh, forgive my slumping. Um, right. Okay. Um, Next question. What other questions have we got? Uh, quite, oh, okay. This one's a good one from uh, Tom and Dom. Tom and Dom. Just came in. Uh, which port are you looking most forward to on your Caribbean trip? Oh, now that's interesting. These are great, these because the, the Caribbean trip is full of tiny little ports. It is going to lots of little ports. So a few of them we've been some of them we've been to before. Mm. So we're going to Beckway, we're going to Grenada, we're going to St. Lucia, but we're not doing like the mm. um <laughs> we're doing like the Souf Soufre and Pigeon Island, which is when we did St. Lucia, we went to St. John's, I think it is in yes. St. Lucia, isn't it? Um and so we're going to the smaller bits. Um so 
we're really looking forward to some of the sort of smaller islands mm. that we mm. haven't been to before. We're going back to Carambola Beach. Carambola which Beach, which we went with Seaborn, obviously. Um, yeah, we did that on the Seaborn. Um, yeah, so I, it's a, that's a really hard question to answer. Mm. I'm just looking forward to... I think to, a lot of them, because they're so small, uh, I think they're all going to be fabulous. But yeah. if you keep, keep an eye on what we're doing, uh, Tom, I mean, you'll see... Put, Things, lots notes, things. little notes in my book. Lots of things there. I was going through the excursions right. and I was like, which excursion should we do? Um, and which one should we try and do on our own? Let's so I look. did do a bit of research this week. Um, I'm but just trying there's to... some really, I think it's going to be one of those places that's quite hard to tell. I can't do this there. without reading glasses. <laughs> You've got your glasses. It's here. awful, isn't it? So until we get we go there. We're going to Portsmouth. Yeah, we're going to Portsmouth. We're going to Portsmouth. Should we go to Southampton as well? <laughs> That's a long way to come for a day, isn't it? Portsmouth from the Caribbean. <laughs> so <laughs> so anyway. I'm looking forward to some of the small... I love the smaller Caribbean ports where you can just get off and there's lovely beaches that you can just go and snorkel on. So, um, yeah, looking forward to, to all of it, really. Um, perhaps some of the places we haven't been to before, mm, mm. like Dominica, British Virgin Islands, we haven't been there before. Mm. So we're going to Joss Van Dyke um, and actually looking forward to staying in Martinique for a couple of nights. So mm. we, we the cruise leaves and returns to Martinique because it's a French line. Mm. They've sort of chosen the French um, islands. A lot of the islands are French. So we had to fly via Paris because the only airline that flies to Martinique <laughs> yeah. is Air France. Um, <laughs> So, and we have a night there before and a night at the end, which we're really looking forward to. So, um, and the lovely thing also, obviously, about the Ponant stuff is that actually it's all um, in, all the excursions are charged in euros. So all the extras are going to be in euros rather than dollars. So that's quite interesting as well. So, yeah. There you go. We'll let you know. Well, we will indeed. Right, 36 minutes gone. Let's have another little quick question because we've got okay. the competition coming up. Okay. <laughs> Competition. Another question then. Uh, right. Um, shall we try this one? Luke yep. Johnson. Luke. Good evening, Luke Johnson. How is Oceania compared to Asmara in terms of value and food? That's a really good question. Very good question. Um, I think they're probably, they would consider each other to be their nearest competitor. Absolutely. Wouldn't they? Well, they've both got R-class ships. See, the, the small ships, they, they only ever produce eight R-class ships. Oceania have got four and Asmara have got four. So they are like completely, you know, on a, on a par when it comes to competitiveness. Oceania have two sort of slightly larger ships as well, which mm. are the ones that we've travelled on. We've not travelled on the Oceania smaller ships. We mm. have travelled on the Asamara smaller ships. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, what are you saying? Value and few, food. Um, I think probably Oceania slightly gets the upper hand on the food overall. I think so. Um, I mean, they call themselves the finest cuisine at sea. And we, if you actually watch our Oceania Riviera review, we, we put that to the test, don't we? Yeah. And I think the, the upshot was it was very fine. Yes. But I don't think we can I don't think we can conclusively say it was the finest the, cuisine the at sea. The, the other good thing about the Oceania dining is that there's four sort of speciality dining restaurants on board mm. and they're all included in your fare so you'll only get to go on them once per voyage but you don't have to pay any extra whereas um azamara have their um aquilina and the steakhouse but you have to pay extra for them mm. so you know obviously oceana win in that regard the only place i would say that i think azamara wins is in their buffet i think the buffet mm. restaurant the horizon yeah. cafe yeah. on azamara is oh, nicer. Oh, and do they do afternoon tea? Do they do, do afternoon they do tea afternoon. up in Aquilina? They do, they? and that was fabulous. And that was lovely. So they beat, they beat Oceania on they our afternoon tea. They do beat Oceania on um, afternoon tea. Yeah. Please watch our Oceania review for reasons why. Uh, because we... Uh, done an Azamara dining guide. I can't remember. I think we must have I think done. we might have done. We might have done. we must have done. Yeah. So, yeah, we do have dining guides on both. So if food is what you're bothered about, then, then go and have a look at those two. With regards to value for money, I think they're probably much of a muchness, really. They both offer quite a range of cabin types. So, mm. you know, you can just book an inside cabin if you want to try and go so, bu budget. Mm. They both have some um, inside cabins, which are really good value for money, obviously. Um, and I think probably, you know, value for money, the drinks are very, drinks are similar, although mm. Oceania only give um, soft drinks yeah. 
Oh, uh, the Azamara drink package is fabulous Whereas value. Whereas Azamara do Absolutely give... Absolutely fabulous value. Yeah, a basic sort of drinks package in, is included. And then if you wanted to buy their more, it's the more premium drinks, that's very good value. Whereas the really Oceanic good one value. Really good value. You'll have to watch our videos. I can't expensive. remember how much it was, but it was really good value. But I think value for money, they're, they're, they're very, very similar, really. Mm. Mm. Um, so I think it would, for me, it would probably depend on the itinerary. Um, yeah, yeah. But I think yeah. they're both. We'll be really, happy to go on both. Yeah, they're both a lovely. But we haven't tried nights. the Oceania R class yet, so we're looking forward to that because they've done a lot of uh, with their Oceania Next sort of uh, program, which has spent millions of pounds on the ships. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see what they've done with the R class ships. And because... in fact, winding back to the first question, which I think Lindsay asked, and Lindsay and Mark asked about, you know, if you wanted to try a smaller ship, and we mm. recommended Asmar. Oceania is actually another really good one for. Mm trying out a smaller mm. ship as well because they're yep. they're very good value for money speaking of small ships we must do the giveaway now okay because 40 minutes in and uh, we don't want people to not marvel at this lovely giveaway in the lead up to christmas so the giveaway so, are we going to do that people have to leave a comment yes um well we'll, we'll sh just show them what the because okay. they might let's, actually let's just leave and go i'm not interested in that so actually the giveaway is the, the clue is in the bag um, it's a beautiful ultra luxury Can't giveaway. See, yeah, the light shining on it, funny. An ultra luxury I the, giveaway. I get now, the joy of pulling things um, out of the bag. Yes, we we had uh, j j just yes, okay. <laughs> I was going to say. What were you going to say? <laughs> we 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 got this. We picked this up. This little gooey bag when we were on the Seabourne Encore. And in fact, we have our Seabourne Encore review video coming out this week. Yeah. Well, tomorrow. Oh, is it I only finished tomorrow? it like an hour ago. You finished it. it it's 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 uh, quite fully featured. It's a long, so long video. Thirty minute long. Yeah, quite so detailed. So grab yourself a cup of tea and a and a and a nice scone. So if you're interested in sailing with Seabourn, watch that. Isn't it's it? actually quite good. We yeah. are we are brutally honest in some areas, and uh, we we are delighted in others. <laughs> Well, we? we were invited to sail with them, and when we were on board, they gifted us some items. And but they we... gifted us both, didn't they? So yes, so we're giving away some of them. So we're giving away some so... of them just for transparency and disclosure. These were, yeah, these were given to us by Seaborn. So... Um, but that's not to say we didn't want to keep them we because do, we use we, we use all them. of these, and um, having a backup would be great. So Shall what have we got in here? Them out of the bag? Yeah, start pulling them out of the bag. What's in the bag? What's in the What's bag? In the so the first thing in the bag is this lovely. Oh, hang on. Oh. Shall we just you hold, keep, you hold the bag and I'll hold it up? Oh, shall no. I? It's a Seaborn umbrella. Now, how often do you get an umbrella Not given often. to you? Not it's, often. It's do you want me nice. to take that, darling? It's, it's all like... sort of bagged up. We should have so, taken it out of the bag. Well, no, because we want to show it's brand new. Yes. So it's it's a beautiful travel umbrella. Like a, a and bag. we've we've Hand opened bag. ours and obviously used it. And it's absolutely brilliant for taking with you. No one ever gives umbrellas away these no, days. No, we used it when we were in London last weekend, didn't we? We did. We no one ever, weekend. ever gives umbrellas. It's fantastic. So, and this thing... I don't really want to give away because although we've got one, I sort of want to keep the other one because it's such so amazing. Well, we we used this when we went on Oceanids. Okay, we? yes. So this is fabulous. This is a little seaborne it's a, brick. It's like a multi USB, and it's got all different. It's a cube. Like, plugs on it. It's a cube with plugs so it's on got it. Got all the different plugs on it, and a British British one on the top, and then it's got. No, not that oh, one. Not, not that one. No, Where that's what I'm after. Two USB sockets. Two so USB actually, it's a, it's a, it's a really, really handy thing. You look at it and you think, oh, I don't know. But actually, we've used, oh, we've used it so much. Yeah. Don't worry. Put that down there, darling. We'll, so that's we'll a tidy little, little like multi, like socket, USB. Mm, mm. And it's so useful and so compact. So that's really good. I really want to keep that. <laughs> Paul says, for someone who's shy, Helen, you did a great job here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Paul. <laughs> it's because I can't actually she see you. She protect yeah, I know. Yeah. And I have she had a glass of wine. <laughs> she well, that's the problem. You've had two glasses of wine, darling. This could I be a dangerous thing. I've only had one. Have you? Oh. Yes. And this? Now, this, actually, th I'm going to... Let me wrestle this from you because this is actually my favourite cap. I, I collect... Oh, caps. Whenever I go, I have to get a cap whenever I go on a on a cruise, because um, I don't like going on, say, a celebrity cruise wearing a prince's cap. So I always buy a cap, right? And these weren't for sale um, in the Seaborn shop, so I was just disappointed. Then they gave that, but they are really <laughs> well made. They're, they're lovely, really nice caps, right? And I seriously thought I want to keep this 
so the, when the other one wears out, I can have this one. But no, I'm going to give We're it away. Look, it's away. brand new. It's still got the cardboard in and stuff. So from a hygiene point of view, it's brand new. And so then it's a finally, cup. I don't. You, you show what this is. Cause uh, finally, sure. there's a. Uh, I think it's vegan it's leather box. again. It's a a seaborne sort of sort of folder thing. It's sort of like a wallet, but. Uh, for oversized credit cards. <laughs> so is it like have, a passport? Do you think it's you, for passports? It looks like passport size. Do you have any oversized? Yes, it's a passport. It's a passport holder. It is. Oh. There you know what it is. See, now we want to keep this as well because now we've only got <laughs> one. And, <laughs> and yeah, it's a passport holder. My passport. Fabulous. Have to go. Fabulous. So yes. So there you go. So there we are. So how for do your, people enter the? So how do people draw? enter the content? I don't know. We haven't discussed that, have we? No. So. All these goodies, which they are, is, I mean, you'll have to agree that is a fabulous, is a fabulous little bag of, of ultra luxury goodies. So to win that, um, well, I would say just, uh, well, what we'd like you to do is subscribe to our channel, obviously. Yes. Um, like it, this video. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment with the, with the word encore. 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 Uh, and then we'll pick that up. We'll yes. put your name in the hat. And we'll probably... Uh, well, it's not a hat. It's a stormtrooper head. Yes. Um, and we'll put that in the hat and we'll we'll draw it out. Probably we'll leave it probably... Christmas Eve, something like that? For, or? Yeah, or for at least a, a month. So we'll yes. leave it a, a while so that people that watch this yes. video, you know, this live later, will have the chance to enter. But yes. don't worry, we won't forget. We'll do it in... Yeah. But we do... Christmas. We do... We do have to, uh, we do, have, Sheila said encore already, look. She's quick <laughs> off the mark, Sheila. Well, your name's in the hat, Sheila. Actually, what you need to do, just leave us a comment, because this yes. is actually on the live broadcast. If you so, can leave us a comment under the video, that would be great as well, so we don't forget we'll, you. I mean, we'll try and get you in. Because we can't we'll always and, see these comments We can't always see these afterwards. No, so, so we'll try and get you in. Yeah, make sure um, you leave it. The, off. Same with, the same with Richard. Yeah. Leave us a comment with Encore as well. We are going to finish in uh, 10, 15 minutes. Paul, so, yeah, oh, it's all falling sure apart now. Look, everybody's everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> encore, encore. Grace is saying Encore as well. This is a popular prize. <laughs> and it should be a popular prize because it's a really nice prize. It so, is a um, nice prize. But, but, but yeah, please if make, you, if please, you could put it please make sure, underneath the video at the end, that would be great and, and as well. And please make sure uh, you subscribe as well because um, we can't always tell when some people are subscribed because of their privacy settings on right. YouTube. So... That would be a nice thing for you to do. Uh, watch some other stuff as well. That would be really nice. Yeah. And we've got lots of Seaborn stuff, actually. Lots of Seaborn, Caribbean and uh, and all that kind of thing. So, um, so yeah. So, uh, that's really nice. Right. The HSC Free said, I agree with you on the caps. I bought a cap on my Regent Cruise in April. Oh, he has one for everybody. I don't have a Regent on. cap, haven't, though. We haven't been on Regent yet. I would Ponant, love do you think? What do you think Ponant's cap would be like? Cap. We'll, nice we'll show you the probably. Ponant cap when we get back because Rich is bound to get one because he loves it. Kim cap. says, "Nice prize." It is Kim. Yes, it really is a nice prize. Yeah, you know. So uh, please do that. Um, we'll leave. We'll leave a, a, a comment below this video when we're finished, just with the instructions. Yes. Just so people come in if they come in late and they see it and they don't perhaps get to this far. Um, you know, we can. We can still get them in the prize. We'll probably leave it open, like you say, for a month. Yes, uh, we'll leave it open for and a month. Then, um, and then we will... And then we'll announce the winner. Paul's well, right. I watch mean, them what, all. What is it now? Watch them all, says Paul. Yes. Please binge What's watch. What's the date we'll have... now? Is it the 13th? So only mm. a month and we're nearly at Christmas. I know. It's amazing. I've well, we're, we're, back from the, we're back from the Caribbean on the 18th. Yeah. So we'll probably do a live uh, when we get back. We're going to try and do a live from the Caribbean. Actually, when we're there, yeah. If we've got uh, any signal strong enough signal um I, i've just suddenly realized uh i didn't test the signal in this room before we started so i hope people can i hope it's not in like 360p or something <laughs> or blocky <laughs> well nobody said anything yet so i no. hope it's all right so, anyway have we got so, any more questions yes mark and Lindsay says oh, did, <laughs> did you, you get to keep oh, your painting it up, Lindsay. It's, it's downstairs i can't go and get it but do you know what honestly you tell the story because I'm a little bit embarrassed. I don't by know it. what the story is. What is the story? Well, on the last day, so at the end of all the art lessons, we the people that had been painting, and there was about um, ten of us. For those of you that don't know, when we went on our Oceania cruise, Oceania offer complimentary art classes. 
um, throughout the voyage, and I decided to sign up for it. I'm not an artist. I've never. We've only played. got ten minutes left, darling. Okay, no, I do, I do, yeah. I've never played before in my life, but anyway, I signed up for the art classes. You have to sign up for all the art classes. <laughs> I went along. I did a couple of hours, pretty much every day. Um, there was a couple of days where we didn't, but pretty much every day drawing a picture and I chose to paint a picture that hangs on our wall in our lounge that my daughter sent me a photo through of and I painted that over the course and I had I had discovered this sort of love for art that I never knew I had and I really enjoyed doing it anyway at the end of the cruise, Eight minutes left, darling. at the end of the cruise we <laughs> there was a, a an exhibition of everybody that had painted of sort of the 10 people that had been doing the art classes someone came along and actually offered to buy to yours. buy they were really painting. keen. They Bless really, them. really they, in keen. In fact, that she even gave me her number and everything. She really wanted that picture. Because I didn't really want to sell it. It's the first thing I've ever painted. And I, didn't I want mean, to I, sell I'd it. have said, you know, give us a tenner. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I did get to keep my painting. I bought it home, even though someone wanted to buy it off of me. Um, and it's lovely because it now sits like just beside the real painting that stand, hangs on our the wall in our living room yeah. and it's sitting there i do want to get it framed one day but i haven't done so yet why are you looking like that i'd have sold it <laughs> well i didn't want to sell it i wanted to keep it so cruise forever uh, says there's no sorry cruise forever says there's no place to leave a coin blue but it probably because it's still live yes I think you um, probably have don't, to, sorry you have to wait until the don't, end. yeah don't worry cruise forever. <laughs> if you don't worry put encore on here and we'll see it um, we'll try and so go we... back and write down all the ones that. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, we but will if, see it. Yeah, if not at the end. Thank you anyway. Um, yes, <laughs> Paul has said, wait, wait until the live is finished. Yes, and we will finish probably in ten minutes. I promise. I won't ramble on about my art anymore. <laughs> 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 but Lindsay did ask the question, so <laughs> I answered the question. <laughs> Actually, Amy says, when I'm on a diet. I always watch your food videos. But it's like oh, that's a terrible thing to do. <laughs> well, if I watch any food video, yourself, Amy. if I'm editing, if I'm on a diet, which we normally are between cruises, aren't we? Uh, it is torture to watch food videos. So uh, you have a strong constitution, Amy. <laughs> a real strong constitution. So that's great. <laughs> a lot stronger than me. Um, oh, just say hello to Emma. Hi, Emma's Emma. Joined. Uh, hello. Good evening. Do you know what I was thinking about this tonight? Um, we uh, we subscribed to Emma when she had 300 subscribers, about 300, or about 280 or something subscribers yeah. right at the beginning. So we've known Emma a long, long time, and um, she's one of the greatest She's just done her uh, first Azamara, YouTubers. her first Azamara cruise, so um, can't wait to see what content she produces from yeah. that. I think she had a good time, didn't you, Emma? I think, I think so. she did, definitely yeah. had a good time. So, um, so thanks for joining us, Yeah, Emma. thanks for joining us. She says, I'm eating a carrot as I watch And if you this. don't already subscribe to Emma, obviously, which probably most of you do because she's way bigger than us. But <laughs> if you don't, then go and subscribe to Emma because she's we got were, great... We, we were neck and neck for a long, long time. <laughs> and then people, people suddenly decided, oh, I'd rather watch Emma. So, But uh, she's great. We've known Emma a long time. She's a good friend. So, mm. yes, she says, original crew. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise forever, look, making sure... <laughs> They, Making sure she's in the competition. <laughs> encore, encore, encore. So thank you for that cruise forever. Right, do we have any more questions to answer, Just going to have a quick look at the questions Let's while we're here. Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> Peter is still going on about us adopting him. That's uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on to Peter in a minute. We'll come back Robin to says, how do you decide what order oh. to release your videos in? Robin, There's a really, is... it's a really complicated algorithm that I use, and it's called <laughs> whatever takes my fancy. <laughs> <laughs> and Helen always says... Often whatever I'm oh, nagging you most you know about. She does. She nags me. Because <laughs> Helen always says, you can't put part one out of something and then leave part two for about three months later. And the trouble is, uh, Robin, I get bored, bored very quickly. So I put my all into one. And then I say to Helen, there's too much content. We need to make it a two-parter. And I'll release uh, the first part. And then I'll think, oh, I'll do this one. It looks far more interesting. Yeah, it gets distracted by and, something else. And then um, it, uh, you will find our YouTube channel littered with part ones. But say no more. We always link part two when they come out, don't we? Yeah. So there's no there's no sequence to any of our videos <laughs> on our channel because Richard <laughs> is is that, that's how he is that, in life. But that's Random. why. No, but that's why you've got to subscribe so you can see when the next one's coming out. Yeah. You know, you do me. I'm so, I'm a very organised, logical person, so it sort of does my head in a little bit. I get like oh about it. But Richard is very much more 
go with the flow type thing. Yeah. So he just whatever, does them as whatever, he feels like it. You know, whatever gets my chi going. Yeah, but it at does time. completely do my head in. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I do apologise if you've watched part one of something like so Egypt or Robin, Amma. In, yeah, in Amma sh Christina. <laughs> In um, short, short. The answer, short answer to your question is, uh, he. There is no decision. It's just whatever takes. <laughs> whatever <laughs> tumbles out of my brain that week, and it does take a week to do one video. So it's, yeah. quite, it's quite. It's quite involved, but um, it really does. Uh, it is based on, yeah. on how I feel. Um, uh, uh, yeah, and then Peter, who has been asking, Peter us has been asking us for ages to adopt to him, adopt him, and we've uh, we've always said yes, but. Uh, it's the post program. At the moment, there. Peter, you're gonna to have to fight with the hundreds of people that keep coming to live with I think, us. At the I, I think we can use Brexit as an excuse. Um but everything's behind because of Brexit. And I think Peter's adoption is as well. And we have a we have a house sort of people living here at the moment mm. as it is. So yeah, yeah we and have we haven't got a spare room. We have Peter, no spare rooms at the moment, at the Peter, moment, yeah. Because we've got, we've got children, children everywhere and in laws and their, brothers and sisters. I've got and, my brother and his wife. Um, we've got children uh, with my parents it's just a house full. So, yeah, good luck, Peter. <laughs> Emma <laughs> if says, you can find a spare bed, you're welcome. But Emma says, totally understand that struggle. As soon as I do something new, I don't want to edit the old stuff anymore. <laughs> Honestly, that is so true. You would not believe. You would not believe. But we, we do try and go back over stuff. So, uh, Jan Williams says, we are going on our first Oceania cruise on Thursday. Good luck with that, Jan. Jan, which ship are you sailing on? Which oh yes, which doing? ship are you sailing on? Yeah, yes. you one of the smaller ones or one of the big ones? Yes. Um, <sighs> yeah, be interested to hear. Um, we did Riviera, but we haven't tried any of their other ships. But it's an amazing product, so I, I hope you have a really nice time. I don't know where you're going, but we'd love to hear more about that. Mm. Um, mm. So, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Emma says, what, what software are you ready to say? I'm using Final Cut Pro at the moment, Emma. I have... Um, She's trying to eventually resolve uh, technical stuff. Premiere Pro technical. as well. There's Premiere Pro as well, but I've stuck with Final Cut. I don't know why, because everyone says Premiere Pro is better, but tech, tech, tech. Yeah. Tech talk, tech talk. Um, uh, oh, Marina. And Williams will go on. Marina. We followed Marina around on we our did. recent Riviera cruise. So it promises the, to be a beautiful it's ship. It's sister ship. Riviera, I think, I think probably is identical. now in dry dock, isn't it? Being yes. refitted. So, the Oceania um, Next program. Yeah, and Marina so. will be done next year. But we followed Marina around a lot of the time when we were on our recent um, Oceanic cruise. Uh, looks, look, well, I'm sure you'll have as good an experience as we yep. had on Oceania. Lovely, lovely ship. Um, what, what, anything we can tell her? Make sure you go to Red Ginger. I really yep. enjoyed Red Ginger. The yep. beef teriyaki was amazing. Fantastic. If you go for afternoon tea, um, oh, make sure you ask yeah. for the scones. Yeah, ask for the scones at Afternoon Tea because we missed out because we didn't know you had to ask for This them. is a good point. Emma says, I watched all your Asmara stuff before the cruise. So that, that's a really good tip. If you want to go on a cruise, watch all our stuff before you go on a cruise. <laughs> and Jan's watched Hot our... Hot tip. Jan says she's watched our Riviera review. So um, Oh, thank you. Yeah. Is it Jan Willem or Jan? Oh, Jan. Oh, I think it might be Jan, Jan because oh, it looks Dutch. Oh, I'm really sorry, Jan. I think I think it might be. I, I think Jan There's might no be Dutch. There's no picture, so I don't no. know. Oh, I'm really sorry. Well, would you be able to tell if someone was Dutch by the picture? Well, no. Have windmills in the background, are they? Or, so they have a finger in a dam or something. It's not going to be like that. But <laughs> I think that's a very. That sounds like a very Dutch name. But forgive us, Jan, if you hate the Dutch yeah, and we put our foot in it. Just call me Ellen. <laughs> Ellen and Richard. I think we ought to flee the country after that. Um, I, actually, we really do like the Netherlands. Beautiful place. We've been around Amsterdam a couple of times. Absolutely gorgeous. So um, we are coming, we're drawing to a close, but please don't leave just yet because, um, well, because we've got the last two minutes of fun. What are you, um, what's your last two minutes of fun? I don't know, just I've being here chatting. A tiny little bit of wine. <laughs> Any more questions before we go? Jan says, yes, okay, very good. Yes, Dutch. Oh, thank you. Oh, gosh, sorry, I'm relief. So sorry. <laughs> oh, got that one right, Jan. So thank you for that. I'm so sorry I got your name wrong. Greetings. Apologies. Greetings. In fact, actually, it is a, it's, a, it's a known fact that uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands is closer as the crow flies from our home city than London is. In fact, I think it's our closest city as the crow flies. Just one last question uh, um, about... <laughs> about the Caribbean. Just yeah. go up, up, up. Rich is controlling the... Um... This one here. Is this it? Yes. Whereabouts in the Caribbean are you going? 
Um, we're doing the Eastern Caribbean. So, um, it's our favourite part of the Caribbean. Yeah, like I see, Mar sort of Martinique in and out and then sailing the Eastern Caribbean. Mm -hmm. We have no sea days whatsoever. So it's no. 12 hop, days. Hop, hop. 12 days of, yeah, pop, hop hopping. those islands. So uh, Dominica, Virgin Islands, um, uh, Grenada, St. Lucia, um, St. Grenadines, Vincent and St. Grenadines, and all of those little tiny islands. So it would be, be beautiful. So, yeah, please do make sure you're following. Yeah, it says my wife's British. Uh -huh. So there you go. So actually, actually, I have massive respect for people who can talk two languages because <laughs> I am absolutely useless. Emma says, you're on my TV. You're bigger than real life. That's, that's a horrific thought, that Emma. Horrific. Absolutely Thanks. horrific. Thanks for joining us, though, Emma. Thanks for joining us. Right, and, and we uh, need to... Yeah, just quick, another quick one. Paul oh, Crane quick, started quick. with Saga after watching your script, trip on Spirit of Discovery. Oh. Thank you, Paul. That was only li literally like a one day. Yeah, no, we've no, not actually sailed with Saga. We'd love to, but we've not actually sailed with them. We've only been on, on board for an overnight. Robin says, um, my boss at Helen says Helen is right. You've got the same boss as me, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Helen's always right <laughs> Peter thank you so much he's given us a super chat and I'll tell you why he wants to buy his way into the adoption papers that's what he wants to do thank you so much Peter that's really really sweet of you Brexit is no excuse and we'll take them 10 Canadian dollars and we'll put them towards the uh, adoption process <laughs> anytime soon so we are finished it is one hour has gone up we don't want to go any further because we want you to enjoy your Sunday evening um, we'll try and catch all of you that said encore, but if you have the chance and have the opportunity, please just once this video has gone onto the onto the channel, you should yeah. be able to just put on. It will be onto the channel quite literally instantly. Yeah. So, so uh, please do and um, spread the word, spread the good word. Join us on the Luxury Cruise Society on Facebook, and follow, follow us, us on. on um, Our Facebook, Facebook, Facebook visit with us and Instagram and, and, and uh, if you're looking for a luxury cruise or any sort of cruise uh, contact Panache Cruises www.panachecruises.com and use our voucher which I will leave somewhere um, probably in, in the Facebooks and uh, yeah please do give them a call because they're a, a super us. bunch friendly mention friendly us and bunch mention the voucher and they'll honour it so and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks time we're hoping to do another one in... live from the Caribbean so no, please no. do we won't be in the Caribbean then. Oh. We'll still be at home. Don't oh, be too excited. Shame. We'll still be at home in two <laughs> weeks' time. See you live, live from, from here. here. <laughs> we'll have a different colour in the background probably. <laughs> um, so thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, really, really appreciate it. We love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.